okay, uh, shot clock. We're going to talk about this. I, I've talked about this a couple times during uh, basketball games. Uh, sometimes not a lot of time to really unpack the whole thing. This will be the last thing we talk about today, and then we're going to wrap it up. Uh, I've got places to be. Uh, Ten games live. You can see the live schedule at ZaleskiSports.com. Click weekly schedule. Um, coach Donarski, and a big thanks to Coach for, for coming on with us. I mean, just a legendary coach in the state of Wisconsin. He's got his uh, Aquinas Blue Golds rated number one in the state uh, right now. Probably, I, I would say, uh, big favorites to be at the Rush Center in Green Bay uh, come March. Uh, but until then, one of the things he talked about was setting the game back 10 years. One of the things that, so people, let's, let, me, let me frame it like this. A lot of people complain about the lack of talent at uh, college basketball programs in our state. So Wisconsin, Marquette, uh, Green Bay, and then they'll follow up the complaint with low talent teams with the other comment, all these guys come from out of state. Where are our players? Well, we teach a lot of our basketball players to, uh, to, to not shoot the basketball. Can you imagine that? Um, now, that, that comes off a little strong, but you know, we're, we're play- I went through the boys' scores earlier. Let's uh, let, just rip through them here again. These are boys' basketball scores from last night. I can tell you, the, the, you know, the girls would be a little bit less. It's a different game. They just some, Sometimes they score a little less. Uh, boys' basketball scores from around the state last night. 28 points, 43 points, 24 points, 20 points, uh, 9 points. Um, you know, girls uh, from last night, 24 points, 19, 22, uh, 21. And I'm, not, and I'm only picking 15 games that were played within 80 miles of here. Forget you know the rest of the state. And the reason is uh, we, we are limiting ourselves to modern basketball without having a shot clock. A shot clock uh, brings, not only does it bring basketball into modern status, uh, it brings up scoring, it brings up the skill level, it brings up the intensity, the excitement, the energy, the enthusiasm, all of it. It's a lot of what Coach Janarski was talking about, and he's done it on his own by averaging over 70 points per game. Uh, he, he, he wouldn't need to have a shot clock. Shot clock wouldn't matter in his scoring output. But those scores I just listed... Gang, that is a complete product of not teaching 2000. We're, we're about to be in 2023 on the calendar. And in this state, we're not teaching, uh, kid, we're not, um, maybe we are teaching it, but we're certainly not expecting because those scores have been that way since 1950, right? It's going to be 2023, and we still have final scores in the 20s and 30s in high school basketball, both boys and girls in the state of Wisconsin, the shot clock fixes all of it. So that's how we get to modern basketball. Um, I, I've talked to people in person about this. Uh, and one of the reasons I bring this up, by the way, is athletic directors I have been recently sent an email and, and the, the, the drumbeat is, is soft, but it, it's begun again to uh, hopefully bring this to a vote. The cowards, uh, we had the votes in 2019, and then all the cowards who were going to vote yes for it backed out and voted no on voting day. Uh, I don't understand why. Um, but the, the other thing uh, that, that the shot clock uh, does is it, it prevents what I see at almost every basketball game I go to. I saw it on Friday night, the very last high school basketball game I was at on Friday night. I saw the same thing. We've got a 10-point lead. We've got five minutes left in the game. We're going to drain two minutes off of the clock, and we're, we're passing the ball around the perimeter. Folks, that's not basketball. I, we, if you want to learn how to pass the ball... We can do that right here in this studio, right? There's no basketball hoop in this studio. We can do that anywhere. We can do it on the street. We can do it in the hallway. You can do it in your bedroom, in your garage. We don't need special training to pass a basketball. Yet, in this state, because the rules are what they are, again, I I don't blame the coaches. What I will say is Coach Donarski and others have decided the hell with it. We're, we're going to go score a bunch of points and we're, our kids are going to have fun and we're going to be energetic and enthusiastic. Um, others are, are playing within the rules and, and that's understandable too. But I saw it again on Friday night. We're passing the ball around the arc. We're going to shave. We're going to take five minutes down to three. But that's not basketball. That's not the sport we are, we're out there to watch. People are paying money to go into the gym. They're buying the nachos and the hot dogs and the popcorn and the Gatorade and whatever. And they're, they're, that's what they're given. 
So we can do better than that. Um, so first, my, my first thing is, I, hopefully this, this gets to the right people. We thought we had the right people three years ago. Gang, we were this close to getting it. The other comment I get in person with the shot clock is, well, we can't afford that, or there's not enough people to do that. Okay, California, Maryland, Massachusetts, New York, Rhode Island, Washington. These are high school basketball states that have the shot clock, and, and they've had it uh, you know, for the last year. Uh, they run a 35-second shot clock. So somehow they've been able to figure it out. They have rural areas. They have small schools. They have questions about not being able to find volunteers or I got to purchase a shot clock and put it in the corner of the gym over here and put it in the other corner over there. But they were able to solve it. Do you know why? They want to play modern basketball. Okay, Zaleski, those are, those are states with big cities. and Okay, they, yes, they also have rural uh, areas. What if I told you this? North Dakota and South Dakota. High school boys and girls basketball have a shot clock in those states. Do you think that in Wisconsin we have bigger cities than they do in North and South Dakota? Do you think in Wisconsin we have more population in North and South Dakota? Do you think in Wisconsin we have less occurrence of rural schools than North and South Dakota? Do you think our average school enrollment is less than North and South Dakota? No. So how were they able to do it in North and South Dakota? How were they able to move past us into modern day, present day basketball in North and South Dakota? I know what a lot of you think about rural North and South Dakota. Some of you don't think of it at all. Probably didn't even know those states existed. I'm probably telling you something new right now, right? A lot of you go there, it's hunting land or it's fishing land because it's great to hunt and fish where there's no people, okay? But there are cities and there are plenty of them and they have school enrollments the same size and smaller than ours and they were able to institute a shot clock. They were able to afford it. They were able to find people to run it because they want to play modern basketball and it's about time we did it here in this state. It's about time. So they, they all run 35 second shot clocks. Shock, Shot clocks, uh, I'll go through that list again. California, Maryland, Massachusetts, New York, North Dakota, South Dakota, Washington, and Rhode Island. And there's more to come. And if we, we have another vote come up, if we're even so fortunate to have a chance to vote on this again, and we pass by it, the whole world of basketball is going to pass by us here in Wisconsin. Because again, the same people who complain that we don't have enough people, we can't afford it, how are we ever going to institute it, even though all these other states did, are the same people who complain, why can't our universities recruit high quality basketball players from this state? Well, because we're not teaching them to score the basketball, that's why. And the, the ones that do score the basketball, by and large, they leave this state to go play basketball somewhere else. Whether they left in high school or they leave it in college. And if that's what you want to keep happening, uh, you just go right ahead. You just, because <laughs> um, that, that's the choice. That's what we're up against. But again, gang, I just read through, let's, we're going to end the show with this. I like to end on a positive note. I hope this is positive because we, you need to, we, we can all affect the voters. Uh, soon, we're, I'm going to put the list up on, on who the voters are uh, and who you should be contacting uh, for that information. But again, from last night, these are scores from last night, not from 1958, from last night, 28, 43, 39, 20, 35, that's all boys basketball, girls basketball, 24, 19, 22, 32, 36, uh, and, and I, I missed the, the other boys at nine. We had nine. We can do better than that. And we need to be doing better than that. 